Hi Scorpio, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm going to be doing your weekly reading for October 9th through the 15th. This is for the sign of Scorpio. I have pre-shuffled these three decks for you, but I will just shuffle them a little bit more. Um, this may or may not resonate as it's for hundreds and thousands of people, okay? Um, bits may, may uh, resonate and the other bits may not. I want to invite you guys to the group that we I have created. It's called Spiritual Guidance Live Feeds on Facebook where there will be min, uh, mini live readings every night. I encourage other readers, healers, um, anybody who is on their spiritual journey to join and share their gifts. Even if you're a beginner, um, you grow with each um, reading. So even if you're uh, very much a beginner and you're just growing, we'd be happy to help you learn. So if you want to post there, feel free. Now I'm going to just go ahead and lay them out because I feel that now is the time. The link will be below. This is the Crystal Visions Tarot deck. And this is for Scorpio. The basis of your reading is the Two of Swords. Okay, the Two of Swords is, is a stalemate pretending about a situation, <laughs> ignoring a situation. <clears throat> All right? So many of you this week, week are trying to just block something out. Okay? You're trying to just not even think about it, whatever it is. Um, something that is keeping you stuck, okay? You're trying to ignore it, okay? Because we have the Eight of Swords right next to you. So many of you might have something that is trying to get your attention or trying to get you riled up and you're just like, nope, I'm ignoring you, okay? Because you just, you're, you're, you want a lot of happiness and that's what you're thriving for is you're looking for happiness and contentment. So I think any kind of drama that tries to... Um, get into your life you're, you're just you're really gonna just block it right out or you are already blocking something out pretty well um, we do have the nine of pentacles right next to it the nine of pentacles is often somebody who is very independent um, being somebody who is very grateful for the, all that they have but this person I mean you could be a loner this week just be like you know I just want to be alone um, and you're, you might be a happy loner though I don't see any like I don't see a lot of sadness, put it that way. I see happiness here. There's more happiness than anything. I think that um, things are probably starting to happen in your favor. Things are probably starting to come to fruition after a period of time. I think there's there's um, some kind of teamwork probably between you and another person. We do have a Leo here. We have a Taurus. We have a Gemini. Just taking a quick look around here. Uh, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, pretty prominently. Okay, so you definitely a lot of you are dealing with a fire sign this week, or it could be in your life at this time. But this fire sign, um, or it could be an energy. All right, so many of you could be feeling very confident in who you are, feeling um, excited about something. All right, so this may or may not resonate with you because it's for hundreds and thousands of thousands of people. But I see that you guys are taking action. All right, and you're moving forward, but you might be wanting to do it alone. You might not want to be listening to anybody's opinion. Like, you know what, I got this. I don't need your help. And you may be excited about it, you know, moving forward, moving away from a situation that you've been stuck in. Um, you might have some pride this week, feeling very proud of your accomplishments. Um, it looks like and some of you it could be getting pregnant or talking about getting pregnant or even having a baby. All right. Or this empress that's up here could be a sign that you are going through a major renewal right now in this life. And that could be why you're feeling like I just want to be alone because you may need time to rejuvenate your soul. Okay. And I, that's what I see for some of you. I think some of you have been resisting a change and perhaps maybe this week you're like, I'm just going to move forward in my own little grace, and I, I don't care for your opinion. I got this covered, okay? And I think that a lot there's a lot of happiness here because you're feeling very confident with who you are. Um, 
I see there's a lot of harmony and peace and a lot and for many of you it could involve love we have the two of cups so there could be a soulmate union here between you and another person um, and if you haven't met this person you could meet them um, and it could affect your independence you know where you're no longer independent because right connect on both ends okay we have love on both ends um, this is the two of cups this is the union and down here we have the lovers it is connected to this nine of pentacles which is somebody who's independent and I mean it's a great lineup right here really it is there's so much for me to say so basically what I see in this lineup alone is that a lot of you could be thinking your relationship could move up another level, okay, if you're with somebody. If you're not with somebody, you could meet somebody, all right, and it's quite unexpected, all right, because we have the lovers. That's an unexpected choice in love. Now, this can be for singles or with if you're already coupled. This could mean that all of a sudden you have this overwhelming emotion for somebody, love for somebody that um, is quite unexpected. You didn't expect it to happen. Either you didn't expect it to happen at all or you didn't expect it to happen this quickly or something like that. Okay, the lovers is an unexpected choice in love where all of a sudden there's an overwhelming bond or an overwhelming chemistry or an overwhelming attraction to another person. All right, well, connected to the Two of Cups, there's definitely a deep attraction between you and another person. And I think this week you're not going to um, be ignoring that, but you're not going to be listening to other people's opinions regarding the matter. You know, okay? You know how you feel and you trust yourself. And I think you're feeling very confident with yourself this week. We do have the Ten of Cups collect connected right to the lovers and the Two of Swords. So I think for a lot of you, there's just a lot of happiness. We have the sun here too. There's, there's any strife in your life, I think, has probably come to an end or it is about to. And I don't mean it's never going to come back. But I think this week is a very harmonious week where you feel like you've got everything under control. Okay? That's what I think. And I think you're just blocking out anybody who's negative and being like, no, I don't want to hear it. Don't bother. Okay, because I think that you're very confident this week. We do have the unknown card here for you again. I mean, we had it for somebody else, so we have it again. This card means, who do we have it for? Aquarius, I believe, and Cancer, I think. But anyway, um, anyway, this unknown card comes out when something is happening that is meant to happen, and it was written a long time ago. All right, so the, when the unknown card comes out, and this card is only in this deck. This is the Crystal Visions deck, okay? This card is not in um, the other traditional uh, Rider Waite tarot decks. It's meant for this deck. When this card comes out, it means that something is going on that you are not supposed to know the outcome to, okay? Because it that's when you learn the most okay when you the unknown it teaches you the most it's like a fear that has to be overcome okay when this card comes out so I think that something is is going on that you don't know about and you can't and I know that you're very very intuitive and you're very much one with the universe but this card has come out to let you know that there's more to the situation than meets the eye okay um, and there's just something that you don't know, and I think it has to do with a birth, okay? Now, it's either a, a birth, a physical birth, you know, of a child, or it's a um, rebirth of your soul, okay? Something is being renewed, and I think it really could be you, Scorpio. I think your soul is being um, nourished at this time, okay? And I think that's why there's a lot of you that are going, that just don't want to be bothered this week, okay? And it's not that you don't want to be bothered. You don't want any negativity. That's the better word for it. It looks like if you're not positive, just walk away because this is a very positive week for you. And if anybody tries to bring you down, you're probably just going to walk right away from them. Um, we do have this Four of Pentacles here, which isn't a very good card. The Four of Pentacles is about prudent, being very prudent, being very cautious, um, frivolous, not wanting to give, all right? But it is connected to the Six of Pentacles. 
So in that unknown card, so I think that in the past you were you may have had these fears that caused you to resist, okay, resist giving your all or resist opening up or resist giving period. But I think with it connected to the six of pentacles, this tells me that perhaps you're getting over that and you're and you're wanting to give more because you're just looking for more peace and happiness. And perhaps you're really falling in love with somebody or you want to fall in love with somebody so you're opening up a lot more. Maybe you're deciding to give your time to love. Now we have the Three of Pentacles twice. The Three of Pentacles often represents communication, teamwork, collaboration. We have it twice. So many of you may be working as a team with somebody or receiving some communication from somebody. All right. We do have the karma card, which is, ju is the judgment card. When you get the karma card, it means that you are so close. You're so close to a completion. This card also signifies that you need to forgive. Maybe you need to forgive yourself or you need to forgive another person to move on. That could be why this Two of Swords is here. Perhaps you guys are holding on to something and you really need to forgive whatever it is. And you're only deceiving yourself by holding on to it, okay? All right. The Seven of Cups. The Seven of Cups comes out when this card means what you own owns you. So be careful what you choose. Make sure you think twice before you make a choice, which you, I think that you have been doing. This card came out this week for a reason. You may be presented by something and you're going to have to make a choice, okay? And you, you might not be able to ignore it because this is ignoring it. Okay, so this is saying that something might come in. That might be your unknown because there's something unknown you don't know about. So this does make sense. Something could come in. You could receive some communication from somebody that you don't even see coming because you can't see it coming. Okay, this is like a precursor here that you don't see coming and you might have to think twice about it. So just be prepared that if something comes in out of the blue, think twice before making your decision. Okay, um... I see that you guys are kind of like a master of non-attachment, so you may have some fear of attachment here, all right? But we have the karma right next to it, which is an awakening, so you could be letting that go. Um, I think things, like I said earlier, things are finally starting to happen. Things are starting to come to fruition, and you can't ignore it anymore. I mean, the need to either uh, block something out or not ignore a situation is the basis of your reading this week, okay? So ignoring a situation is kind of like self-deceit. You're deceiving yourself by ignoring it. This, these, these wands, which are the, this all over in this reading, which is the fire energy, um, they state that you're going to have to be courageous. You're going to have to be confident. You're going to have to have discipline, and you're going to have to have willpower to make this decision. So, you know, and you're really going to have to focus because these wands are about focusing. Focus, focus, focus. Focus and think twice before whatever this unknown thing is that comes in. And there is no way I could tell you what it is because it is meant to be unknown. That's what that card says. You know what? I'm going to read it to you. Just because I feel the need for some reason. Okay. The Crystal Visions deck includes one own unknown card which represents an answer that's not yet meant to be revealed. It can signify something from the past that one may not fully understand or something that will happen soon. I already explained it. So something's going to happen, all right? Um, yeah. This card can also signify the importance of one looking deeper into the issue at hand in order to find the answers. Like I said, you're going to have to focus, focus, focus. Ah, it can also represent the importance of moving forward with an open mind and without bias. So you got that card for a reason. All right. 
you can't ignore a situation, all right? And, and you're tr you can. I think you have the power to block it out, but that is the basis of your reading. The unknown card comes out to say that something is up. <laughs> something is up. All right, this is for Scorpio, and you may find out about it this week. Now, remember, energy is fluid. This could have already happened. Or it could happen next week. could happen a month from now, okay? I mean, usually when I do my private readings, they're a month out. You know, a day, the day from the day I do them to a month out. They can be longer, and if that's the case, I will let you know. But you, So I would say this could be anywhere from the day you watch this to a month out or before. It could have already happened. This is the reason you go within and you want to be alone. And I see that. I do. I see a lot of you are just going to need time alone. All right? And that's not a bad thing. All right? I just think that you don't want any negativity in your life right now. Not during this week. And so you may be shutting some people out because of it. But I don't see any, like, badness out of it. Spend time in quiet meditation, spiritual teaching, self-discovery. That's exactly what's going on. And I mentioned being alone at the beginning. Here we have the Queen of Air. This is uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. But it can be any other sign that's taking on this, this energy. It could even be you. Objective decision making. Absolutely. I was telling you that you are going to have to think twice. That unknown card is right there. I think something is going to be presented to you. You could receive some communication or some news of something that might take you back and you're going to have to think twice about it. And this also is about clearing away all that no longer serves you. Yep. And that's why you've been working on your soul, self-discovery. I think that's exactly what's going on. And you just don't want any negativity. That's something you're clearing out of your life. Knight of Pentacles. Time to buckle down and get things done. Absolutely, that's exactly what you're doing. And I think the main importance is on you. You're working on you and your relationship. I do see, and if you're, if you're on a relation, in a relationship, you're working on that too. If you're not, you're working on finding one, giving more time to finding love, okay? Real love. Um, guardian Angel. We have Guardian Angel a couple times here. We have Judgment and we have the Three of Pentacles twice, and now we have this one. The Three of Pentacles can also signify angels, angelic messages. Pay attention to the signs. So you could have some angels around you at this time. Feel free to ask them for assistance. Um, and I, this also says honor your commitments. I believe a lot of you are honoring your commitments, and that's why this card has come out. You're honoring your commitment to yourself and your relationship. Okay, and if you're not in a relationship, that is your biggest desire. But with the lover's card, I see that you, uh, many of you have this unexpected feeling of emotions and love for another person. And if it hasn't come in yet, there's potential for it to come in very soon. That's what I have. Talk to you later. Scorpio.